Okay, so here's a quick tour of Google Classroom and what the setting up the portfolio assignment looks like. So I'm in my classes for Google Classroom and I'm going to select my journalism class. And um, as you can see, once you're inside, you have a class code down here. This is what students will use to enroll in the class. And once they're enrolled, they don't have to do it again. It's just a one-time thing. Um, and each of these are the assignments that I've already assigned. So you can see that I have um, three assignments assigned, and this is the one that's out and due today. So those will, I can actually see those as they come in. This number will change. If I were going to set up a new assignment, all I have to do is click this little plus sign down in the corner, and I'm going to select to create an assignment and give it a name, description if I want to. I can set a due date and time if I want to, or I can just leave it open-ended. And then I'm going to go to this to attach a Google document from my drive to it. I could also upload a document, but um, I've already created a document that um, has my whole portfolio exactly how, form, how exactly how I want it to look. So I would just come in here, I'd pick which one I want. Maybe it's, let's see if this one is the one I want. Portfolio two, portfolio three. And I have three different ones here because each time I've changed it or tweaked it a little bit. So. Um, I would select this to add it to the assignment. And then this is really important. I'm going to change this to say that it's going to make a copy for each student. And once that's all ready to go, I could click to assign it. And then every student would get that assignment. When they click on the doc, it will create a new doc from the template that I've uploaded for them. To see the assignments and grade them, I would just come in here. I'll actually do the ones that are coming in now. And over here on the left, you can see um, who's turned them in. So these students have all already turned in their assignments. Some of them I've already given feedback to, graded, and sent back to them. These ones aren't in yet, but will probably be in later today. And I click on either a student's name, or I can just click on the ones that are done. <coughs> And any one of these I can pull up. It will open up that document, that student's document that they've submitted to me. And you can see I already did this one. So this student filled in her document with all of her self-assessment and checked off things that were relevant. And then I went through and was able to give her feedback using the comment functions in Google Drive to um, for her to see. And then when I finish, it automatically saves. So I would just close this, find that student. In this case, it's Zazu. And insert the grade here. And then I'll have the option to select the box and hit return. Once it's returned, the student gets a notification stating that it's been returned to them as they can know to go on and check their feedback. And that's it.